Hi! So in this video I'm going to be doing a review of Smilo bottles. These are something that I first saw on Instagram. Um, I've also seen them heavily advertised on Facebook lately. These are the Smilo bottles. They have the 10 ounce version and the 5 ounce version. They also have these nifty little silicone holders on the side. They advertise the one pinky hold because uh, when you have a baby you have your hands full. So um, like I said, I first saw these on Instagram and I was like, oh, those look kind of cool. And they um, advertise a lot about how they their company started. And it was kind of a group of people. One's like an orthodontist, one's a doctor, like something else. So I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. Um, I obviously thought they looked cool. Now, when we had our daughter, we were using Dr. Brown's Options bottles, the wide neck version, which obviously have the valve in the middle. Dr. Brown's has been around for a couple years and are pretty well known. Um, I got the Smilo bottles when my daughter was about seven months old. Now, I actually got mine off of a Facebook Marketplace site because we'd already made the investment and had all of the Dr. Brown's Options bottles. So I didn't want to reinvest in bottles when she was six months old because Obviously bottles are expensive, nipples are expensive, you gotta buy new ones every couple months, and so I didn't want to make the switch. So when I got these on Facebook Marketplace, I was super excited to try them out. And honestly, I've been really happy with them. So we formula fed from the start, and so the number one difference I noticed is I really liked mixing formula in the Smilo bottle better. Because in the Dr. Brown's bottle, it's getting stuck on the valve and kind of getting chunked up. Um, so that was always a little worrisome, but at the same time, the Smilo bottle, we dump it in there, shake it up, and it was totally fine. So we definitely use these for out and about on the go with our formula. At home, we use a Dr. Brown's formula pitcher, so we would just have no problem with our regular Dr. Brown's bottles. Yes, it's more parts to clean, but at the same time, when you're cleaning baby stuff, you have so much of it that... It wasn't a huge deal breaker, but I will say the Smilo bottles definitely went out um, if you're mixing formula in them often. So the Smilo bottles are supposed to have the same kind of reverse pressure technology that like Dr. Brown's does with their valve. Um, my daughter took both these bottles just fine. We would switch them around, mix them up, and she was totally fine with it. The Smilo bottles have the valve up on the nipple. I never had any leaking issues with these. The other thing I really liked is they can go any direction. I know with some of the bottles out there these days, like Tommy, Tippy, and Avent, you have to hold like it, make sure the valve is facing up. With the Smilo bottles, you don't necessarily have to, and it seemed to work just the same. Now, the one thing that caught me off guard was I saw bubbles in this Milo bottle, and I was like, well, that's not good. You know, does that mean my kid's taking an air? Um, well, from reading more on their website and their customer service stuff, it said the bubbles were normal. So what happens is the milk flows down, and you'll see bubbles at, like, the top of wherever the liquid ends, and that's the air going kind of back in the bottle, and then the formula coming, or milk coming down. Um, like I said, my daughter never had any issues with the Smilo or the Dr. Browns, and seemed to take both of them really well. Now, the Smilo bottles are a little more of an initial investment. They're $25 for a pack of three. You can get a three-pack of Dr. Brown's at Target for closer to $15, um, so there is that. Um, Smilo bottles, the nipples are like newborn, three-month, six-month, nine-month plus. Uh, Dr. Brown's are very similar. Now, Smilo nipples are sold in three packs for $6. Dr. Brown's are sold in two packs for $5, which is kind of annoying because their bottles are sold in three packs. You'd think their nipples would come in three packs, but Dr. Brown's kind of cheaps you out a little and only gives you two for $5. So Smilo's nipples at the three for $6 are a little better deal. Um, they do have a few minor differences in just regards to capacity. So the Smilo bottles do have a 10 ounce capacity in the large bottle. A Dr. Brown's bottle does only have nine. We did notice if we ever filled it even a little bit above nine, it tended to leak. We didn't have any of those issues with the Smilo bottle. Now, we're gonna hang on to both these bottles for our next child. I won't be buying more of either of them. 
I think had I been able to see and hold this Milo bottle up close before we invested in Dr. Brown's, I would have gone with this Milo just because it has less parts. Um, however, it is hard to know from just seeing them online. I'm not aware of them being sold in stores at all. But overall, I would say I've been really happy with the Smilo bottles. I got a heck of a deal on them, being I purchased them off Facebook Marketplace. But overall, had if there's ever a tragic dishwasher accident with all my Dr. Browns, I will definitely purchase more Smilos. Both are great, but Smilos are definitely really great technology, easy to clean, they hold a lot. I really like the valve up on the nipple because it works any direction. And it was also really easy for my baby to hold. So I would highly recommend the Smilo bottles. Maybe take the chance. They have great customer service in my experience. And they do have a lot of really good online coupons and things as well. So just keep an eye out for those. And hope you like your Smilo bottles.